Hi everyone, about a minute on why this Texas ice storm proves that we need natural gas in the winter to stay warm. Uh, thankfully, it's warming up here in Austin today. It's going to be in the 40s today. You can see behind me, a lot of the ice is coming off of the trees and thank goodness it's getting warmer. But this cold snap proves that we need natural gas in our homes and businesses to stay warm. Energy security should be our paramount concern. Churchill talked about this more than a century ago. He said, energy security lies in variety and variety alone. And that applies in our homes and businesses. And it's one reason why this electrify everything push is not just a bad idea. It's in fact, it's dangerous. And let me be clear, I've written about this. You can see it on my Substack in the piece I wrote a few days ago called The Billionaires Behind the Gas Bands. Uh, there are some very powerful NGOs, including the Sierra Club, Rocky Mountain Institute, and others that want to electrify everything. That is, prohibit the use of natural gas in homes and businesses. But this is simply a terrible idea. It's bad for consumers. It's more expensive. But further, it's almost going to, it's going to be almost impossible to achieve. Why? Because the amount of energy that's delivered during the gas grid during the coldest days of winter is enormous. And in fact, to match that amount of gas delivered, it's about 80 billion cubic feet of, of gas per day during the coldest days of winter. If you want to match that with electricity, you'd have to double the size of the existing electricity grid. You heard that right. Our grid today has about 1.2 terawatts, 1,200 gigawatts of installed capacity. We'd have to double the size of our existing electric grid to match the amount of energy that's delivered during the, uh, the winter in the form of natural gas. That's simply not going to happen. The bottom line here is that the natural gas infrastructure we have is part of our critical infrastructure, and we abandon it or forsake it at our extreme peril. I'll stop there. Uh, follow me on Substack, would you? RobertBryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.